Good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. My name's Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and my company is called Gemini Crafts. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. If you're joining me live, please do comment and say hi so that I know you're here because my system doesn't always tell me who's watching and I don't like to ignore anybody. Obviously, if you want to stay incognito, that's absolutely fine. If you're watching on Catch Up, thank you for taking the time to do that. And I really appreciate, appreciate everybody who joins me live or on Catch Up. Um, it's great to have you out there. I did see uh, Molly about 10 minutes ago and it was lovely for her to say how nice it was to have the lives to keep her um, active and going during these rather strange times that we have in front of us. So, this week so far, we have been using this stamp set called Press On. Hi Fabienne, bonsoir, oh, bonsoir, oh, bonjour even. Um, let me show you what we did um, yesterday. So I've been using this stamp set. So this is, as you can see, tea and coffee, mostly coffee. Um, it does actually match quite well with this one, which is coffee, cookies, cocktails and chocolates. And I think these are quite interchangeable because uh, I like the sentiments on here and here and they would work really well together. So I'm carrying on with this one called Press On. Hi Anne-Marie. Hi Molly. You've just had your name mentioned. So <laughs> thank you for joining me. So what I created yesterday um, was this card. So this was my sample card using the small image of the little takeaway coffee cups. And I've just got the coffee beans there in the center and I use the Stamparatus to stamp those um, four lines of coffee cups. Coloured them in with some blends pens and then on the inside just added some coffee beans. So that was my pre-designed card. This was one I created live. So I changed this to Whisper White cardstock and then I've used basically Magenta Madness and Granny Apple Green and some crumb cake to colour those in and then on the inside I've got coffee beans top and bottom. One of the things I showed also was that you could use the inserts that come out of the two coffee cup stamps which is this one and this one. You can use those as stamps to create a brick wall Oh, Johnny Curse Molly. Hi, Lenny. So here is my brick wall. And all I did was I put these two onto a block. I just put these up together, like so, quite close in together, like that. And then I just inked these up, stamped them across the bottom, and then inked them up again, and then stamped them, obviously, um, halfway across. So creating a brick wall from the spare bits of the centres of the stamps. So I do like the fact that Stamping Up do that because it means you're less likely to transfer ink if you push really hard um, with these onto an ink pad. You can pick up ink in the section in the middle. So by Stamping Up cutting those out for you, um, it saves that problem. Plus you get these extras that you can use. So I'll pop that one back in there. So I'm going to keep it in there so I know where it is and that one goes in the centre. So what I thought I would do for this afternoon session is use this cup here, which is this one, and stamp it but then also stamp it onto some coloured paper to do some paper piecing. 
so I can stamp it onto the dots on the words and I've got words on here as well um, and then I think what I'm going to do is have the coffee beans at the top and the bottom and use this coffee is always a good idea um, coming out of the coming out of the spout so I literally designed this in my head about five minutes ago so I'm going to apologize now that it's not really prepared but hey ho I had a lovely morning and a lovely lunch catching up with people it's my twins birthday as well today so it's all systems go okay so let us start so I've got early espresso here oh bless you hi Carol with an E thank you for joining us I hope you're back and not frozen this time and Marie okay it's a little tidy up here and let me grab a piece of grid paper just so I can stamp over the edges so put that down there so my thought I wonder actually if I might put um, might look a bit odd right, I was thinking of putting the cup on the brick wall um, if I cut that down a little bit or maybe just did two lines of that just want to look at the spacing really that and then my coffee is always a good idea and then I could use this sunburst here across the top for something different couldn't I so let's do that so I'm going to get those out again and stamp the brick wall straight onto this piece so you can see that in action oh okay Carol oh hi Claire thank you for joining us so here, Carol, it's beautiful blue sky. A few clouds have popped up, um, but otherwise it's really, really lovely weather. I know it's forecast to change. So just going to put those two together, if you can see that, hopefully. And yes, not that way around, Jenny. Oh dear. Let's try that. Looks all right. So I'm just going to find my Sahara sand ink. I'm just going to cover this up so I don't put my elbow in it. So Sahara sand ink must be just here somewhere. I can't now see so I'm just going to use grey granite let's have a look and see okay that will do yes okay so I'm inking this up I'm hoping you can see that okay <laughs> I should have done no I had a diet coke <laughs> and a very nice meal thanks to Linda who treated me okay so I'm going to start with this here centrally across the bottom inking this up again like so so this should look like a stone wall like that and then I'm going to start this sort of halfway across like that There we go. And I think I'll do one more. So literally just laying those on top of each other. I'm not worried about being exactly accurate. As you can see. <laughs> 
there we go so there's my brick wall or stone wall I should say okay wipe those down no <laughs> nothing underneath there you can turn up my table is quite tidy all things considered hi Donna oh hi Pauline so thank you for joining me so there's my um, brick wall made out of my spare pieces of stamp now I'm going to pop this one on top now I haven't used this stamp yet so I'm just going to ink it up and stamp it onto my spare grid paper to start with just so I can see how it stamps okay perfect so it's got a slightly thicker line on one side and what I want is I really want that just sitting on that wall so that's a bit of guesstimation Okay, now what I'm going to do is stamp this onto my paper. Should we go for spots, do we think? Um, and I only need that section. I might do some writing as well and then we can decide which one we like best. Like that. So the nice thing about this image, obviously, is it's nice and easy to cut out that little panel there with some scissors. I'm going to add this sentiment that says, <laughs> not that way around, coffee is always a good idea coming out of there. So I'm going to practice... Yep, that will work nicely. Fingers crossed I can recreate that a second time. Yep, coffee and well, it's a little bit low but it will be alright. And then I could put the starburst on top, which is this one here. Or I might do coffee beans across the top. any preference I'm going to cut this piece out while you're looking at that find my scissors here they are <laughs> thank you Lily not quite perfect So I'll cut both of these out as they're so easy and then you can let me know what you think whether words are better. Just kick me off here. It's not very nice, is it? Okay, so nice and easy. Trim these off. And in fact, what I could you could get away with stamping on one and then putting two sheets together so you're just cutting once. So that's going to sit in there. So that's the words version. Back, I do apologize. Hi, Tracy. Lynn wants the starburst and the beans. <laughs> Let's have a look and see. So, we'll do this first. So, this is Misty Moonlight. Just happened to be the closest 
set of papers I had and on the basis I did magenta yesterday I was going to go for blue instead of pink today yeah I think that looks fun doesn't it put that on it so I'm going to colour in the rest with a bit of um, crumb cake so um, I could do coffee beans across the top and let's have a look at the starburst and see how that fits in. Hi Jane, nice to have you join us. Yeah see I think it would work there but I think it's a bit too high now because I've added this comment in here sentiments I think if I had a smaller sentiment like coffee or a cup of thanks I think that would work with that so this one is going to have beans across the top which I will colour in so I'm just going to add these So I'm just turning these round so they come in at different angles so it doesn't look like it's the same stamp every time like so Alright, let's grab this So this is the light crumb cake And I think I have, I'll grab a dark crumb cake. So I don't need to do this one here. And this bit could be white. So I'm just going to do the edges of the cup like so. Like that. Same at the bottom. light bit of shading on there to make it look like it's got some light on it um, and then this bit is going to be white so this bit can we colour it in obviously you can choose any colours for those you can add in some blue if you wanted from um, the misty moonlight like so so this one I'm going to stick flat down oh actually the wood works as well mm, perhaps that looks better then it looks like sort of corrugated or something doesn't it oh yes <laughs> I knew it looked different so spots or the wood effect what do you think While you're deliberating on that, I'm going to colour in my coffee beans. Oh, thank you. Then, yeah, with with that sentiment on, it was just too much, wasn't it? But without that, it would have worked fine. So we've got spots or the wood effect. Or indeed the words. Or this this one, which is that looks like sort of denim. Oh, I have to say I don't think there's much in it. I think they all look nice. That's from our in colour papers, 
but you can get this set of designer papers in all of our colours. So great for matching. I could cut out a coffee cup and have the whole thing 3D. So I might just do that. Voila. And there. Spots. Lynn likes the spots. Just that one. No, I have coloured that in already, haven't I? But quite tempted to just add another let me have a look and see dun, dun. Excuse me, I just colour that in again. I'm just going to try. I just want that uh, little to look a little bit more 3D. That's all. So, um, if you follow my Facebook page, the main Gemini Crafts one, so I do have. Um, Without being greedy, I have four Facebook pages, um, some of which I have inherited and look after. So I have Gemini Crafts, I have Gemini Crafts Oxfordshire, which I inherited from the lovely Anel. And then I have Crafty Sprinkles, which is also from the lovely Anel, and Coffee and Card. So but the majority of my focus is on Gemini Crafts, the main one, which is where this is posted, but it also gets added to the other Facebook pages. So on, my, on this page, this morning I shared some information about our forthcoming stamp sale, which is one day only, starting tomorrow. 23rd of September and it's 15% off some of our stamp sets some very popular ones in there so so far the popular ones that people have asked me for is Dandelion Wishes um, family party that's the one that's got mother brother sister father etc on it and um, tour wild rose and bloom and grow so there's some really nice sets in there i will be emailing that information out this afternoon this evening ready for tomorrow but if anybody wants to order you can place the order with me today and I'll order it for you tomorrow so if you're watching this on catch up and we're past the 23rd of September I'm afraid you've missed that that's the downside of having being able to watch this on catch up okay so I think what I'm going to do is add that onto there so I'm going to pop this layer on and Lynn's gone for spots so spots we have just going to add a little bit of seal I've got the right one yes I have there we go so I'm going to pop that onto there like so and then I'm going to pop that up I'm attaching now to my seal that's on there I'm going to fold that over 
otherwise I'll be attaching myself to it forever. I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. Here we go. So if you didn't see this tip from a little while ago, if you struggle to see whether you've got your backings left on your dimensionals or not, draw a line right down all of the dimensionals so that when you stick it down you can see that those backings are already still in place and then obviously when you remove them it's clear so that wasn't an original idea of mine that came from somebody in our demonstrator group Lynn might remember who it was possibly There we go. Coffee is always a good idea. I'm going to add a little bit of bling to that in the misty moonlight. Oh, Anne-Marie, thank you for your birthday wishes for my twins. I can't believe they're 23. All right. So, looking for my, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, and I've got enough on there. So, I pick these up and I've got a little mark there I'm going to cover up. One, two, and three, like so. Let's take that bed down. So, in theory, if I've cut this to the right size, I can layer this onto Misty Moonlight. Yep, and um. El Espresso and then on to Misty Moonlight as for my finished card. Let me bring that down there. It was Baz, yes. I did think it was. But then, who knows. Sorry, just getting a new pack of early espresso out because it's one of my popular colours. So I'm going to cut my Misty Moonlight into a card. So if you didn't know, you can purchase our card like this in packs of A4 of a single colour or you can purchase them as a multi-pack where you get 10 different colours two of each colour in A4 so basically you get um, 40 cards in total four of this size for each of this size out of a pack so it's entirely up to you let me just move that out of the way whether you go for multi-pack or mixed pack very often what I'll say to people when they start is buy a mixed pack to start with and then if there's a particular color that you absolutely love then you could um, get a small um, a pack just specifically in that colour. And one of the things I offer my customers is um, the ability for me to 
score your card ready to make a six or four by four cards and I can only offer that because I have an industrial guillotine so it means that I can do them fairly swiftly and have an automatic creasing machine because we all know how long it, how long it takes to score a whole pack of card one sheet at a time Okay, let's have a look and see what this is looking like. So this is espresso. This is my design of card. And I think what I might do, hmm, I'll just get around the corners. Maybe I'll just round this one here, possibly. Hi Claire. Two Claire's on board today. So I'm just going to pop that in our trio punch that does the corner rounding. Do this one as well. Just make sure it's right up into the corner so you get a nice crisp edge. So it just gives a little bit of interest. And I could do top left. as well or shall I leave it decisions decisions I think I'm just going to leave it as one but I might cut this one as well So say if you've got our other stamp set that has the coffee cups on then these would go together these would also go together really nicely now i want to do the back one i've started <laughs> there we go okay that will do nicely so some glue on the back of that Oh, top left too do you think well, like, mm, it's difficult to do it now I've done that corner isn't it anybody else thinks I should do top left as well just on that front layer maybe going to do top right just because the edges then will be the same sorry Lynn <laughs> so I can do both together yeah there we go okay so I'm going to layer that one onto there so just making sure I'm going around where those dimensionals are so I don't squish it too much or bend the card. Take those bits out of the way. Good. And then on to there. So I'm just being careful not to go over where those dimensionals are. And what I could also do is add a misty moonlight ribbon round there. I could feed it through and wrap it round. Let me try that. Oh, thanks, Lynn. Yeah. 
so this is our Misty Moonlight ribbon so um, you can see how our colour coordination works so I've got the ribbon I've got the card I've got the enamel dots and I also have the ink although I haven't used the ink here all matching so what I'm going to do is turn this round And if you're tying bows on things, it's a lot easier to do it when whatever you're tying, attaching it to is actually stuck to your card because it stops it flipping around everywhere. So, sorry my fingers <laughs> were right in your way. So I'm just making this smaller so it's not as, not as big as the coffee cup. That would be slightly weird. Okay, let's see what that looks like. If you think it's too much, I can take it off. I quite like that with the little bow on it. Okay, coffee is always a good idea. Okay, let's pop an insert into there, and I think I'm going to do another brick wall, just because I can, just across the bottom. Let me move that one out of the way. So this is grey granite again. So on my sample yesterday, I actually did Sahara sand. bring my paper back, fold that over, just so I can stamp this across the bottom really. And the, ni ooh, the nice thing about this sentiment is I've just put my hands in the ink, oh no you can hardly see it is that you could use this for anything so coffee is always a good idea it could be birthday it could be a thank you whatever you want it to be like so oops bit of a random wall this one never mind it's a homegrown wall laid with my own fair hands Okay, I'm going to round the corners and I'm also just going to trim that very bottom bit off. So I'm going to do the trimming first, otherwise I'll cut the rounded corner at a funny angle. So I'm just going to take that little bit off where I didn't stamp it particularly well. Like so. my trio punch that's got the corner rounders on so I did top right and bottom right and remember when you're using this trio punch punch in the center don't try and punch this bit down because it's all designed to go down in one so all, all the pieces punch together and if you try and do it on the edge then um, you're just putting pressure on the wrong on the wrong part of it so I think we could add hope your day is full of perks on the inside and I'm presuming that's a play on the word of a percolator 
but if you can think of a, another reason why they would have that do let me know okay so this is the first time I'm using the stamp so I'm just going to stamp on some scrap paper just so I can see if it's straight for example because if I put the label on wonky then it makes all the difference that looks nice and straight the reason why this is blurred is because I folded that piece over and so it's got an uneven edge underneath okay there we are hope your day is full of parts right okay let's pop that on the inside that'll fit there nicely And we are done and obviously you can decorate your envelope as well no naked envelopes so tomorrow I will be back with a Facebook live in the morning at 10 a.m. and I will probably do a run through of some of the stamp sets that are on offer so that you can see them in more detail because I've got a list of the stamp sets that's what's on my Facebook page um, but it's sometimes easier for you to actually see the stamps so I will try and do that um, maybe lunchtime if I've got everything else done from the morning okay so that was all Misty Moonlight and crumb cake with a little bit of grey granite for the wall because I couldn't find my Sahara sand so I hope you like my card from today so a bit of paper piecing yesterday's one you can see here was um, using the Stamparatus to, to do that obviously I could have used the Stamparatus for this but actually it would be quite fiddly to step stamp it that way and then that way so it's just as easy just to hand stamp it like a real um, wall and if you wanted to you could fill in the gaps with a, a light blends pen to make it look like the mortar or whatever in between so thank you so much for joining me if you're joining me live thank you if you join me on catch up thanks to Lynn for the spotty paper choice um, although we have covered it up rather with that little ribbon but I think it's sweet so thank you so much everybody I hope you have a good afternoon it's only Tuesday goodness me um, so enjoy the rest of your week I hope to catch up with you some of you um, tomorrow at 10 if you're around if you've got any questions on what I've covered today or any questions about the sale tomorrow please just message me and I'll get back to you thank you so much um, stay safe everyone look after each other each oh look after each other and yourselves and I hope you can keep crafting stay safe bye bye